This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week of the Street of Dreams, all the major averages were down on the week, but are still positive for the month. The weakness in the markets came as a result of comments from Fed officials raising concerns over tighter U.S. monetary policy. St. Louis Federal Reserve President James Bullard said Thursday that the policy rate is not yet in a zone that may be considered sufficiently restrictive. He suggested that the appropriate zone for the federal funds rate could be in the 5 to 7% range, which is much higher than what the market is expecting. Bullard made these comments in spite of the fact that earlier in the week, wholesale prices increased less than expected in October, adding to hopes that inflation is on the wane. The producer price index, a measure of the prices that companies get for finished goods in the marketplace, rose two-tenths of 1% for the month below analyst estimates. On a year-over-year -year basis, PPI rose 8% compared to an 8.4% increase in September and well off the all-time peak of 11.7% hit this past March. The PPI raid certainly adds more fuel to the fire for those who feel we may finally be on a downward inflation trend, especially after a similar decline from the CPI last week. The CPI showed a 7.7% annual increase that was down from a 41-year peak of 9% this past June. Federal Reserve officials have been raising rates in hopes of bringing down inflation. Central Bank has hiked its benchmark borrowing rate six times this year for a total of 3.75%, its highest level in 14 years. Markets are now pricing in about an 80% chance that the Fed would downshift its rate hikes in December with a 50 basis point or a half a 1% increase after four straight 75 basis point moves earlier this year. We can only hope and markets can only speculate. But Wharton economist Jeremy Siegel declared, inflation is basically over and the Fed doesn't have to get anywhere near as high on interest rates. And if the Fed does follow Siegel's preferred path for future monetary policy decisions, that would have a good chance of avoiding a hard economic landing that would be good for all markets, both stocks and bonds. Now, as I stated at the beginning of this commentary, the markets were down for the week, but up over the past 30 days and boy, oh boy, what a fantastic 30 days they were, with the Dow up 16% over that period, only to be trumped by international markets up 20% over the same time frame. As John Bogle of Vanguard so famously said, focus on the long term because the short term is too volatile. If 2022 hasn't proved that to us all, I don't know if anything ever will. Hey, my son Ryan and I have 68 years experience of building low cost, tax efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call right now, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692, or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management, wishing all of our listeners a happy Thanksgiving week.